Hi, I'm Steve Gale with Source Refrigeration, and I'm here to talk about and go over the programming and operation of your touchscreen system, which is your new alarm panel at your location. What you have here is a Dell all-in-one computer. This is a full-blown computer. It is running a program that looks and monitors your cases, and you have interaction with it. So let's start by what's incorporated on this screen. If you notice, there are green squares, yellow squares around the store. The green squares mean that the system's in refrigeration. Yellow means it's in defrost. If a square is red, that particular case is an alarm and there's a problem that needs to be addressed. Let's say one of the cases was in alarm. If we push the case that would have been in alarm, we can then come up, look at the temperatures of the case, hit the graph icon for it, operation and see how the case has been running if there's too much data or not being able to see what this is you can simply take your finger hold it on the screen drag it to the right and then double click in the middle and that will expand that segment of the graph we go back to the home screen you also have what the status of each case is in other words you see refrigeration here you see all of them in refrigeration. This system is in defrost, hence the squares are yellow, matching up to the defrost icon here. Two self-contained cases will never show defrost as they do not, we do not control the defrost. There's an icon here that says circuit summary. This is similar to your temperature logs. From this screen, you can hit the print icon and print the temperature graph or temperature, temperatures of all your cases, which now can go into a temperature log. Go back to the home icon. You can then look at your defrost summary. This will tell you when all the systems go into defrost. Go back to the home icon. Over on the right hand side of the screen here, it shows what your operating temperatures, humidity, outside air temperature, outside humidity, what your current set point for cooling and for heat is. And in this location, there are four RTUs on the roof. It will tell you what those RTUs are doing. So at this store, all of them are idle right now. The fan's just running to maintain temperature. If you wanna adjust the temperature in the store, you can click on this bar, slide that up, and it will raise the temperature set point for the store up to five degrees, or it will lower the temperature set point up to five degrees. This store has what's called a smoke alarm. It's going to monitor the, the air systems to make sure there's no smoke or fire in the system. If this goes on, all your HVACs will go off. Lastly on this screen, we have lighting controls. We have lighting controls in a couple of spots. You have lights normal, lights on. Lights on will let you do an inventory override for 12 hours. Lights normal will take the inventory override off and delay shutting off the lights by five minutes. So if you push it because you're staying late to do an inventory, you can come in here and put it back to normal and within five minutes the lights will go off so you don't have to burn the lights all night long. You have an evac alarm. The evac system is your water waste removal system from the cases. This system, if this goes into alarm, you can press the, eight, the VAC system info button. It will give you itemized ways to look at what's going on and what actually the failure is. Our recommendation is always call for service on an VAC failure. Go back to the home icon and now we can go to lighting controls. Lighting controls allow us to dim, control the lights in, in the store, override the lights if we wanted. Exterior wall pack A and B as an example on the back loading dock. I can push those buttons and it will give us a two hour override to allow the lights to operate. Same as on the sales floor lights here or back of house lights. This is called a housekeeping override. This override will turn on all the red indicated light fixtures any of the fixtures that are in red, we'll turn them on and dim them to 
So that's enough light for you to come in for an emergency service call at night. Or if you wanted a stocking crew at night, you can just run the housekeeping lights to save yourself some money. The four sets of sliders here will actually control and dim the lights based on what you like in your store. It's required dimming control by the new regulations. Normally, all of these will be in the zero position, which allow it for automatic control. In other words, when it's bright outside, they're gonna start dimming down a little bit. When it gets darker at night, they'll go back up. So that's full automated control when it's at zero. If the slider is above 5%, you have control with the slider. If it's below 5%, it goes back to automatic control. Again, you have another inventory override function here, and this is telling you what your light level is on your sales floor. You have an icon here that says home screen, which will take you back to the main screen. In the bottom corner of the computer, there's a button. That button will allow you to access your desktop. On the desktop, I've installed several manuals first manual that I've installed is how to work on and what is your VAC system. Second manual is for your MISTER system. Third manual and most important to you as the operator is your cleaning and maintenance case schedule. So this is going to show you throughout this document how to clean your cases, what to look out for, what to do and how to do it and show and tell you how to do your maintenance the rest of the documents that you see across the screen are basically your floor plans and your blueprints for the store since this is a touch screen computer just like on your phone you can expand and or minimize expand or bring it back in We have a program running called Outlook. That's the other part of the program. Outlook is a email service program. So when you get emails sent from this, it will tell you what your alarms are currently going on in your store. How to read these alarms is, let me find one that's applicable right here. As an example, on May 5th, 2016 at 623, in the morning, we had a return to normal. RTN means return to normal, which means everything's back to normal. Alarm, it's been acknowledged, and it was a high case temperature on system 1A ice cream. So, and it was case number two and then one and three. So what it's telling you is that this was in alarm mode, it's now been cleared and returned to normal, and, every, and there's no more active alarms on it. RTN means return to normal. You have notices, you have alarms, notices, and failures. At the current time, there is still, at this location, an issue with the installation, so we're getting some RTU alarms. Every night, between midnight and 3 o'clock in the morning, this computer will reboot. It logs itself back on. Sometimes it will reboot, and Outlook will be in front of your floor plan. If that's the case, touch on anywhere on the screen and it bring this your floor plan monitor screen forward if you have a power failure and the power goes down this will automatically reboot automatically restart outlook and ultrasight to give you your graphic interface thank you for your time